Effective Applications of Study Strategies in Science Education. Ease Race to the Third Power. Video 1, Introduction. Hi, I'm Dr. Lonnie Wynn, and I teach biology at Mount San Antonio College, otherwise known as Mount SAC. Are you a student wanting to improve your grades, especially in the sciences? Do you want to know the secrets of studying smarter, not harder? Do you want to understand how your brain learns so you can work with your brain and not against it when learning? If you have answered yes to any of these questions, then this series of videos is for you. Many students struggle and fail because they don't know how to study. So I looked into the science of learning and discovered how the brain learns. This series of videos will help you to understand how your brain learns. When you study, you can work with, not against, your brain. I want to pass on these secrets of studying to help you succeed. In these videos, I will cover how to read a science textbook, study efficiently, memorize effectively, review for tests, take exams, improve with each exam, and much, much more. The goal of these videos is to help you become more efficient and effective learners. First, watch this series of videos in order and follow the step-by-step -step instructions. You must prepare and study throughout the class if you want to do well. Second, pay full attention when you watch these short videos. Brain rule. To learn, you must pay attention. You learn faster if you pay close attention. Brain rule. Contrary to popular belief, our brains cannot multitask. Multitasking is doing two or more similar activities at the same time. For example, uh -oh, listening to two conversations at the same time is multitasking. Uh -oh, the brain has to switch back and forth between the two. The Switching back and forth makes the brain work harder and important information may be missed. So it is best to pay full attention and listen carefully. You will save time. Third, try the new strategies presented in each video. To change, you have to trade your old study habits for new and better ones. Fourth, just knowing the strategies is not enough. You must practice these strategies to know which will work best for each topic. Practice makes perfect, so keep trying. Brain rule. Your brain is constantly changing, especially if you are learning and practicing new skills. This is called neuroplasticity. As long as we are alive, we can change our brains. Do not let your past haunt you and limit your future performances. You can improve with practice because of neuroplasticity. Do not wait until you get into trouble before looking for help. This is like digging yourself into a hole. It is harder to dig yourself out of a hole because you did poorly on the first part of the class. If on the first test you got an F, the second test you got a D, and on the third test you got an A, you cannot get an A because the average of an F, D, and A is only a C or B at best. It is easier and better to start strong, do well, and keep up the good work. For best results, apply these strategies at the beginning of the semester and continue throughout your class. Many students have tried these methods and have found them helpful. Disclaimer, there is no magic. You still have to study. Disclaimer, this will not make you a sudden genius like Einstein. However, by applying these strategies, you will reach your best academic potential. Remember, other factors like work, family, and social life will take time away from studying. They will also affect your grades. So let's get on our way to be more efficient and effective students by moving on to the next video, video two, prep for the first day.